Sepsis is when a organism, whether it's a bacteria or a virus, uh, infects the bloodstream and creates what we call uh, an inflammatory response. The inflammatory response is the body's reaction to this infection. And this reaction can be anywhere from a benign pustule on the skin or it could be generalized to organ dysfunction. So that stimulates uh, what we call a cascade of inflammatory mediators that come as the body's response to this organism. Once a microorganism uh, infects the blood or infects the body, the rapidity of how fast sepsis can occur, it can be striking. Um, I've seen cases where within a matter of minutes, a patient can have an ascending infection up their leg into their bloodstream. So it can be anywhere from minutes to a few hours. Sepsis is a disease of extremes. Patients who are very young and patients who are very old tend to have trouble with sepsis. In addition, patients in between who are on agents that cause their immune systems to be suppressed or patients who have underlying medical problems like liver disease or heart disease or kidney disease, these patients are also more susceptible to infection. Sepsis is very common. Uh, there are different grades of sepsis, but common sepsis uh, occurs very frequently, but the mortality from sepsis is probably the most important thing is that if you advance to a stage of what we call septic shock, mortality gets very high. We noted that patients with infection weren't treated the same as heart attack, strokes, and trauma. So we uh, engaged in a research program endeavor as well as a quality initiative endeavor to improve upon that patient population. And little did we know that the research we did almost 25 years ago turned out to be a national standard for sepsis care. I think Allegiance has taken the concept of sepsis care to one of the highest levels possible. Um, most hospitals in the last decade have created sepsis programs or quality initiatives where they've created guidelines and structures in terms of how to diagnose and treat sepsis. However, Allegiance has really taken it to the next level. They've created a a unit, a physical plant that not only does the same concepts, but it's a location where everybody is under the same umbrella, get the same care. That's very unique amongst hospitals in the U.S. That's very kind. We, uh, It's all because of the work that you did. And so what we wanted to uh, think about this seps a sepsis unit is to treat our patients just like a stroke patient or a person that suffers trauma or has a heart attack, providing standardized care. Taking that concept, we wanted to develop a unit specific for the care for sepsis. So people like Travis Zeibel, our unit manager, Joy Lynn Nelson, who's the director on this floor as well, and our uh, executive sponsorship, we were able to institute a sepsis unit. And since that time, what our goals were was to decrease length of stay, decrease mortality rates, and decrease readmissions, which so far our data has shown. With all the different units that comprise the Henry Ford Health System, we come together monthly to talk about goals and challenges and to standardize the care throughout the whole system. With that work that we do, that we put on our public website for reporting, others can take a look and see what we're doing as a health system, how we're improving care for that population. So for our sepsis unit here, uh, Travis Zeibel and his team have developed educational process for the family to get the family involved as well as the patient, things to look for, uh, out for at the time of discharge. And that helps so when patients come in now, they ask when they have the cough or a fever, they go, doctor, Dr. Kim, am I septic? That's a change from what was known previously or what was conveyed to the provider, the caregiver. And I think that speaks well of this hospital and its educational process. And I think it's striking difference than when I came here five years ago. It is so interesting that you learned a lot more about public knowledge or the, uh, or the you know, public knowledge when a patient comes in and their family member says, oh, you have sepsis or we, my loved one has sepsis just like Superman or just like Muhammad Ali who died of pneumonia or sepsis. So when you start to get 
uh, to a point where they recognize that movie stars have this disease. I think we've taken it to another level.